Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, we're going to be making some slow cooker or crock pot turkey wings, which is one of my favorites. A uh, real simple recipe, and you just let the crock pot do its magic. All right, here's your seasoning. I have everything listed in the description section for you. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. First thing I do is I wash my wings. Uh, a lot of people don't like to wash poultry in their sink because they're worried about getting salmonella in the sink. Uh, I prefer to wash mine and then just make sure that I wash and sanitize the sink afterwards. After you wash the turkey, next you want to take your onion, cut your onion into one eighth inch to one quarter inch slices. Then you want to take your red bell pepper and chop it up into small pieces. All right, the next step is to start adding your ingredients to your crock pot. Now, I don't like the texture of cooked onions, so what I do is I'll lay my onions on the bottom of the pot like a bed, and then I'll put my turkey wings on top of them so that when I take my turkey wings out, I don't have to pick the onions out of my, my, my turkey wings. Uh, but if you like your onions uh, mixed into your food, uh, then you can go ahead and just uh, add your onions on top of your turkey wings or in between your turkey wings. You want to lay your wings in your crock pot as flat as possible so that they can get covered with the juice. Now, I've got six wings and uh, I've got a pretty large crock pot, so if you have a smaller crock pot, you may have to just do three, uh, but it still use the same amount of ingredients as far as the seasoning. Okay, now that we have our turkey in the crock pot, we can add our seasoning. It doesn't matter which order you add the seasoning, just make sure you get all of them in there. All right, next you wanna add your red bell pepper. And then your parsley flakes. And then you wanna add two tablespoons of minced garlic. And don't forget to add your two chicken bouillon cubes. Next, we're gonna make our slurry, which is basically your thickener for your gravy. Uh, we're looking at two cups of chicken broth or chicken stock, whichever you have. You're gonna mix that with four tablespoons of either cornstarch or flour, either one will work.
Make sure you stir it up real well. And then we pour it into the crock pot. Then you wanna add another one cup of water. Put the lid on and set your crock pot to six hours. So this is how it should look after about an hour and a half to two hours. And now this is at four hours. As you can see, the water level or liquid is starting to rise. And oh, it's smelling so good. And after six hours, this is what we have. Look at that. Can't wait to pour that juice over some rice and have my vegetables of choice, it's on. Bon Appetit. Don't forget to like and subscribe on my channel. Thank you.